like I, I, I want to hear I, other people's opinions. I, I, I love this movie. I love this movie. I love this movie, but <laughs> it's interesting um, watching Michael Mann in this movie is kind of in this weird place between Miami Vice, which at the time I was obsessed with and saw every episode, um, and some of his later, more mature stuff. There's, there's, there are shots in this movie that are like just jaw dropping. Like the cinematography is fucking great. Ports and then there's like, and then there's like super bad edits. <laughs> and then, okay, first off, just, there's, a, there's two scenes in this movie. Well, it's very '80s, which I'm going to try really hard not to hold it against, hold against it. Like the soundtrack, the clothes, whatever. I think it's a plus. But there's a couple of times where, like the you know, just you and me, or looking at the camera with the fucking lightning in the background, is okay, a loser groaner. And I'm sorry, that shootout at the end, the last like five, ten minutes of this movie, fucking terrible. And this is from the uh, guy. I yeah. do, I, I that's, because, that's, that's because I did, that's because because that's because that's because cinema history with you heat. don't understand. No, that's because that is not the, this guy. No, that the guy editing. Is no, coming later. I disagree. The editing is shit. That's true. Because there's there's these weird jump edits that they used to do like in the 30s and 40s because they didn't have like the take, you know? Yeah. Like someone would like back in the go watch like a lot of 1930s and 40s films and they will just cut on a person like right. someone's on camera and they'll cut and it's the same person still on camera because they didn't have the fucking take. And that's what happens at the end of this in terms of the action. Well, there's, it's but bad. I think it oh, works. Oh, but it's bad. No, it, it, it is bad. It is bad. bad. But I think it works because Michael Mann has a special quality. We'll talk about this later. I'm, I'm not let you guys go. Like, I'm just saying that there are. He, he was in his Michael he was Mann winding up. A, he was winding up for the pitch that he then delivers over like his, his next four or five movies. But yeah, I love Michael Mann movies. Yeah. Uh, so you're talking about you're talking about when I know out. I know what you're talking about when when the tooth fairy busts through the window and it doesn't really hold up. Okay. But no, to but me, everything else in this movie is fucking great. But to me, it holds up because he, Mike, like, I wanted to say this, and I don't know how you guys are going to take this, but Michael Mann has a way of using um, music and yeah. visuals that I usually would hate. Like, I would actually abhor. Like, I would actually loathe. <laughs> but he does it in a way that makes it work. I don't know how this guy. Nobody this guy shoots the back of somebody's head, staring off into a horizon. No, but like, like for instance, in for instance, like for, Michael Mann. For instance, for instance, look at I this. Don't, look but I don't at really, this shit right here. I know. Look at this shit best, right here. He's the best Hannibal Lecter. Listen, do you guys? Did you? Did anyone see the Miami Vice movie? Not the show, but the movie yeah, that he made. I in love the, that in movie. the theater. Love okay, it. so so I so I think that's like minor Michael Mann in my book. Oh, no, but it's still that. good, right? And Michael, no, Mann... let's move. Let's move away from that. Let's go no, no, back no, to this. No, 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 but, no, no let's but go I'm, back to this movie. I'm trying to this... make a point, though. I'm trying to make a point about how Michael can shoot and use music. Yeah, there, there's a well, scene in there's a scene in the Miami Vice movie where I think it's like Jamie Foxx and he's like making love to his girlfriend, like in the shower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I and I swear to yeah. God, he's playing like a he's playing like the worst fucking song. He's playing like a goddamn. Creed song or something. He's playing like a fucking yeah. There are several song. Creed a lot songs. of audio slave on that soundtrack. Yeah, it's like audio. It's 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 like a band that's so terrible that I would never ever listen to. But for some reason, Michael Mann. It Chris, works. you want to go? You you want to go to an audio slave no, concert? Hold it on, fucking I'll, works. No, I'm, I'm just. Stop he's right got there. a. He's no. Yeah, he's, you want to go with one to me? He's got okay. a weird. He's got a weird fucking way where <laughs> unlike <laughs> unlike yeah. popular films, which I hate. That use all the popular music, he can take the most popular bullshit fucking song and put it against his visuals, and I'm like, I'm all in, dude. I'm sold. I love. Yeah, this. and they start playing. They start playing works. strong as I am in this movie, and no. it's awesome. Okay, so, uh, show of hands, who thinks that Tar Tar Tarantino ripped off the uh, music for the end of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood from this film? Because the end of this film is um, um, Agata de Vida. Agata Vida. Yeah. Am I too? You ripped the fuck out of it. And that one was yeah. that Villeneuve, Villeneuve Fudge to keep me hanging on, the cover of that. And this was just reminding me so much of what he tried to pull off there, having this atmospheric 60s song playing and look, the violence going in the foreground. I thought it was actually quite a brilliant at the time because he was the first guy to do that. That was really amazing. 
This movie is yeah, fucking brilliant. This is the Scott, first time Scott, all, ever all, been all, depicted. all I want to say is that Brian Cox is the best lector. No, he's not. Period. He's, this yes. guy is a good yes. lector. Period. I second he that. Is the best, I second he's that. the best lector. No, I mean, he, you ask you you shake anybody in public stupid. and say who's the best Hannibal Lecter? They're all going to say the, the the British guy. No, nope. nope. what's his name? He's British. British. No, but the yeah. other guy. What the, the other, fuck the are you British talking guy. about? Yeah, 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 he's he's what's his name? I can't. You're talking it. about. You're talking Anthony about Hopkins. Uh, Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins. That guy. That that's that the guy's doesn't, name. That yeah. doesn't yeah. change the he's fact Hannibal that he's Hannibal Lecter. He's Mr. Not Blinking in all of his scenes. That's no, Han- no. The thing about the thing eyebrows. about listen, Anthony Hopkins is not bad, mm-hmm. but he makes it into a caricature like Freddy Krueger, and this right. guy makes it a real fucking person. Yes. Well, hold on, my, my, Brian Cox. Brian Cox is so good as Hannibal Lecter, top no, to bottom. My, my thoughts on this is that he, this is the first time out with Red Dragon as a as a property as a movie, right? Yes, I thought they, he re- did, they remade I it with thought, with fucking. I thought he, it we, we'll get to that in a second. And it was I thought terrible. In this, he did a great job because the whole the stark white cell and him dressed in white and all kinds the, the same attitude, the same kind of thing. Although the Brian Cox's accent was in and out the entire time. He no, was British. He was no, Southern. It's perfect. He it's was perfect. not. It was off. But anyway, and I, that's I'm not I'm not faulting that. His portrayal was great. And the, the setting was the best. This film has amazing set pieces in it. I guess just, uh, just if really one does, stuff. if one does as God does, one will become as God is. Yeah, but that's there, one there, of there, the there's a best thing about, lines. There's a thing about the, best of the book, right? So, but there's a thing about Cox's yeah. performance in this. There's a thing about Cox's performance. He's in this got where... his feet up on the wall. He's just yeah, like, like he doesn't. He's he's so up ahead of everyone in this picture. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's like Anthony Hopkins was doing a, a, a grandiose uh, performative, you know, and this guy is actually just like, oh, I know this character. I'm going to play it to a T and I don't have to fucking I don't have to brag. I don't have to That's fucking... the same terrible clone that you were to court three years ago. Clarice. Right. Like it's it's so it's the same, fucking... it's the same menace that I think is there was much difference. It's than... not. it No, because fucking anthony hopkins menace is nowhere near as much as uh brian cox's menace brian I cox's agree. menace is directly in your face yep. it's just, just guys like face off halfway through the film in the in, in silence though i mean it's like no it's, i yeah, love but, sil- i love uh, silence too uh, i love it but, um, but i think this picture is just more mature well i guess yeah. i thought this film was ahead of its time in terms of the way it was put together that's the, the, the photography yes. the, the the camera movements the lighting was really spectacular. I mean, really good. I mean, striking. You know, also, also like, besides like William Peterson wasn't no, hunting down. I mean, I was getting to that. William role Peterson is the dead center of this movie. I'm He's sorry, so man. good. That guy. No, we can't actually have a have a wet paper bag. <laughs> what <laughs> the no, fuck are you like, talking about? Okay, no, what the fuck are you talking about? Just you and about? me this time. Uh, yeah. Every time he started talking to the imaginary talking to the bad guy it was like i oh disagree God, but i love your fucking i now, love who's fault i will fu- i will <laughs> fight you in fucking temecula no like, fuck no, no no fuck you, you. <laughs> fuck you him talking to the, him talking to this imaginary bad guy was just absurd it was no silly. it wasn't no it was so it good he called it he called it because he couldn't pull it off called it's just you and me now sport it's just you and me now sport I loved it. No, Scott. <laughs> Scott, I love you, but I disagree. I love William Peterson in this. I think he's. I think this oh, is he's his best like role. His, oh, it's a, he's an, he's an intense. He's like a vulture of an actor. He's just standing there intensely staring at things all the time. What's wrong, with, wrong with what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? It's static. It's nothing. He gives you nothing. And the thing is, his line reads, especially when he's talking to the imaginary bad guy, were, were he's hilarious. Great. If if his you're brain got hilarious. broken. His well, brain got wanna, broken I, I, by I wanna, finding. I want to hear what everyone else says, but if you're not on the Michael Mann wave, because Michael Mann is a wave, by the way, <laughs> well, no, and no. you have to catch that wave. No, listen to me, Michael Mann's wave. It's in every fucking movie that he does. This so is if true. you if this you one, don't like the Michael Mann wave, then you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna wipe out. I love like I love Michael Mann movies. They're, they're Mohicans, and, and this is how it starts. This is it, a, Mohicans this is, is the worst one. By no, the way, this is yeah, Mohicans is where he starts because it's, the worst. <laughs> because it's so by amateurish. Way, That's like, this is, this is, here. No, the, 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 <laughs> it starts it starts with this. And it keeps going to heat. Like mm-hmm. if you're not on the wave, you're 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 gonna be left behind. You know, a novice director should be allowed to stumble, and there's some stumbles in this. I feel like he was w- warming up. Yeah, he's, he's warming, warming up. up. 
Yeah, between just, my, between my, dance, my, couldn't my have, Vice, which anybody, if anybody's gone back and watched any of the Miami Vice shit, is like, wow, this is like super. Was dangerous. he involved in the series? It's a dumb question, but very uh, much so. Yeah, yeah he invented the series. Dude. But what, no, was it, did he come up with it, or is he showrunner? Co-created or what? it with Uritchich. He co-created. He was a showrunner. Oh, okay, that's okay. Was he do what? Do they supervise it week to week, or is it something he started? I don't know. Yes. Show, I don't know that showrunner meant the same thing in the '80s that it does now. But he he was co-creator. Uh-huh. But yes, that's where he, that's he where he's sharp. Well, enough. it was enough that he made a fucking movie about it in the oh, fucking two thousand. Well, they also made that movie twenty years after the fucking TV. I show. know, but that's him so being like, well, I'm going back to my well roots. Bitch. I love Hollywood. No, he came out of that series and did Heat, and that it, it forgives everything. But also, but yes, also, like, also, his Miami Vice film is not my. Heat is one of the best movies ever made. What's that? Oh, I'm not going to argue. Chad, with I 100 agree with this. But mm-hmm. Collateral is. Collateral is amazing. Also, collateral is oh, good. Let's talk about Public Enemies. Oh, what Public, Public Enemies, Enemies is also, also great. Oh also my god! Good. Thing is, him is like him trying to get. He, I love that. He's, it, later on, he's like trying to work with natural light in cities at night. That sky glow and like street lighting, trying to make it look as natural as possible. That he was does collateral an amazing as well. Job. Collateral yeah. and uh, Public Enemy, which is Public Enemies, which is actually set in the but '30s. Which is I, crazy. I think, and this. I think yeah, he, he he might he, be no, his it, The technology though. was not up to it. They were using a lot of artificial light in this film. But I I think he might be uh-huh. the, his masterpiece. I yeah, was. he is, I he is his masterpiece. I yeah. watch it every year, and it's the best movie. I agree with both of you. John's been terribly me, terribly quiet here. Do you see it? I have seen it several times. Mm-hmm. It's been a while, and I didn't get to do it this week. So that's why I'm being quiet. Oh, okay. But I generally I, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I think it's a good movie. Okay. Enough. The, Brian Cox. Uh, Jim, Jim, Brian Cox Jim, is Jim so good. Brian Cox. Is Brian Cox. Cox. Brian Cox. Okay, is okay, okay, let me stop right now. Brian gonna, Cox is remarkable. Let me get an no, open mind good. here. Oh, you guys convince me why Brian Cox is better than uh, Sir Richard Rampus a lot. What's his oh, name? Because no, because he's is, no, because go ahead. His, take, it, take it away. His, his menace. His yes. menace carries through when he's doing nothing. Exactly. I think it's because um, I think it's because he's more relaxed. He's yeah, no, pushing. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. He has, his feet, he has his feet up on the wall at he's that not one pushing point. His yeah, he, face. There, 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 there's a thing about. I mean, no one, no one disputes that Hopkins is not great. Of course, he's great, but he plays that role. You know, so he he. What can we say? He's 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 on the uh, he's on the offense, right? right. And I think, yeah, yeah. He's and, very I, and I think I think, I think Cox here is on the defense in the best possible way. Like Cox here is like I am I am just I am existing and I know how to play this. He's not Where, right. whereas, Hopkins could never deliver the line that that uh what it what what was it uh, uh that after shave that after shave has a yes. uh, boat on it and he's not so well, there, there's the kind of thing a child there's kind of thing a child would buy there there's a weird thing about and i love the signs of the lambs it's a great picture but there's a thing about how anthony does that where it's a, it's like this mystery and he's trying to probe her and cox has a whole different approach here he talks openly <laughs> to he talks openly to will he's like do you know why you caught me do you want to know why you caught me like he keeps saying it like it, it, it it's it's if you, to, most... if you want to smell it smell yourself yeah like it, it, there's something about brian cox i i think it's in the script and i think it's in cox's performance yeah. that is is just it runs laps around a very commercial type of movie that is you know the other one you know, one thing is interesting that the difference between um, the two uh, Hannibal Lecter's in this, in that silence in this, is that um, um, the one in the one's productive, like uh, Hopkins, uh, he was very productive. He draws, he paints, he's cultured. He does, he's he can, he's fully rounded as a character in, in some ways because he's I, had this life before. But the but, but Brian Cox is this is this entity in a white cage with nothing. And that makes it very interesting true. in terms of a contrast. But you, you know? get, okay, uh-huh. I love your point there, Scott. Uh-huh. But I think in that phone call manipulation that he does, mm-hmm. you get all of that. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I've, I've got the wrong number. I'm sorry. I've got the wrong number. Dude, and then, dude, dude when, when, he, when he says, darling, darling, uh, this is so-and-so from, you know, blah, blah, blah. Just and I need, zip, I need, just I need zip to get, that uh, down to, to yeah, G. Just, can, 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 can you can you pop that down and let me know um so-and-so's address like that whole 
scene is as much painting and whatever you can do in Science of the Lambs, it's better. Like that yeah. whole that one that those 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 like three seconds is like you Anthony Hopkins can paint whatever he wants. This guy's smarter. Like it just it's so quick and perfect. And he gets he gets literally the address and the phone number of the person who is that he wants to fucking murder. Like Lecter does the, same, the other Lecter does the same thing, but that's not. That yeah, but not in the same way. Not in the same. So it's so it's Brian Cox plays it as so, like that? matter of fact, he's uh, just he doesn't care. He's just so. Yeah, he's just, he's just a guy who shows up and is yeah, like, he's yeah, just I like, killed he's a just like, here we go. Here cares? we go. I don't have to put on a fucking thing and cover my fucking. He's just da da da. Hey, how many hey, how many number. people how many fields of lights are killed nine that we know of like that's it's just directly at the camera nine that we know of. i think if we all i want to meet brian cox just to be like you're the hannibal you know what's a nice palate cleanser is to go then finish this and start super troopers there you go yeah yeah, yeah. also brian i think this cox. is this this is Plays, not like, it, weirdly enough it's not as sensitive or as, as well-rounded as red dragon in terms of the bad guy because this one's just oh, I hated get, that the, fucking the, the, movie. But the, but the first, the, this, the the tooth fairy in the first film, the one we just saw, was this gigantic monster Frankenstein, hideous dude. Who, yeah, like, he's an amazing monster. Yeah. But the yes. second one, the second, he's one like is, seven feet tall. <laughs> but the second one is Ray Fiennes, right? And it's like a, it, it is a different energy. Yeah, here. Ralph Fiennes is way worse. Ralph at Fiennes. Fiennes. Okay, okay, white man, it's Ray Fiennes, but also, uh, <laughs> yeah, Ralph Fiennes is very bad at this. Ralph Fiennes. Oh, he, but he's very good. He's very good in uh, as his in, friends uh, call him. Bruges. Oh, Ralphie, he is wonderful in that film. <laughs> uh, Ralphie, you're brother, really uh, good at you're really good at being in the bad movie. How's your brother? How's your brother, how's your brother Joey doing I don't these like days? This movie. I really like this movie. I just think that it's it's for me. It's just like watching somebody who's figuring shit out that he's going to continue to keep using in the next five or six movies that he makes. Because but this was after Thief, dude. Thief is fucking no, Thief, Thief is phenomenal. Like like Thief is awful. the thing I wanted to pick, but it's not a film. Yeah, but 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 like that, you know. And I was starting to put shit in the chat when I was watching this, but like that opening scene where it's. Peterson on one end of the bench looking one way and Dennis Frina, who is fantastic in this gorgeous, looking, God, gorgeous. Dennis Frina. And having a conversation. And I'm like, Oh my God, Michael Mann does this in every fucking movie that he makes. It's so good. And I am a hundred percent. Okay. Good or bad. That's, that's, because that's, that's just the, it, he has a thing about guys in I'm his going to pick heat next time on my fucking thing. He, he, he's got to think about the way heat. that he, he, he oh, no, frames no, up. Him. Guys in his movies no, sure. kind of exactly. staring off into the horizon. They've got the weight of the world on their shoulders, and they're not saying a fucking thing because there's some synthesizer music going on in the background. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's beautiful! But they didn't even I do that. They didn't even do that in this. They, no, he didn't I, even do that in this. He did. It's, no, he didn't. He, there's no synthesizer going on there. No, I've got the one from them sitting back. It's the two of them sitting no, back. No, there's the synthesizer later. But uh, not right. during that scene. All right. Also, 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 for the record, uh, the Tooth Fairy has more game than a lot of guys. By the way, because <laughs> he gets laid on his own accord. The second scene. This the scene. second scene. Yeah, but but they did not do that. I know. I'm taking. I'm taking front. notes, dude. Take a girl to feel a tiger. You get pussy. That's All right. true. <laughs> on the, on that on that extremely high note, let's take Jim's corner at this point. Thank you, uh, Scott. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been trying to say. <laughs> I really don't have much to say about it. I've never really liked Michael Mann or his movies or his TV shows. I It didn't help that I was way overexposed at some point to Peterson, I guess, is the actor who plays. Uh, the PSI the guy. guy, right? Because you watched Young Guns yes, over I, and over again? No, because my first you? wife really loved CSI, so we oh. watched it religiously. And well, that's I just, a terrible show, and I'm I, so sorry. I just don't think he can act. Well, I, I didn't though. see any acting in this movie, and I didn't see any direction in this movie. I saw a lot of art direction. I, I really like his pink hot pants at the end. Yeah, yeah. And that that, 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 that jacket with the little the, the, the polka dot stripe. There's a lot of good cinematography, though. Look behind Chris. There's a lot of good cinematography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there is. Uh, there it's is. good cinematography, Dante, but. Uh, 
Yeah. It doesn't necessarily make a good movie. No, it doesn't. It's praising the wallpaper, basically. That's just not. Yeah. Good. Well, but, no, but hold I, on. I, I disagree. I, I think this is brilliant. Hold on. Hold on. What, wasn't this one of the first movies to, like, let's face it, it's a, there are a dime a dozen these days, but movies that are basically trying to get in the head of the person who's trying to get in the head of a serial killer. Yeah. Like, yeah it and was I, one I of the first, if not the first to do that, correct? And is, what's yeah, his name? In the so most by the obvious way, possible way. Uh, by the way, who okay, plays, does so anyone, I, I, really I, get, I know does what you're going to say. Does anyone else, whoa, 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 whoa. I really found. Does anyone know the name? I, I can't remember the name of the name. actor who plays this the tooth fairy in this. Yeah, it's Tom, Tom, Noonan. Tom, Tom Noonan. Tom Noonan. Tom Noonan. Yeah, Tom, Tom Noonan. Noonan. So he's all yeah, and he's also in Heat. He's the guy in the wheelchair who gives he's yeah, yeah, he's, he gives stuff in that. he's like, he's like, I just know how to get it. This information, I don't know how to get it. Anyway, uh, but how fantastic is he in this film? And when he when he when he when he when he first shows up. With the, the like the pantyhose on half of his head, yeah, it's fucking terrifying, dude. I worked with somebody who had a badly repaired uh, hair lip, and they're just bit bastards. Yeah, like, like also, <laughs> also, Joaquin also, Phoenix is a bastard, so it all works out, right? Also, Here's also, yeah. just for fun, just as an aside, uh, one thing I love about this picture is that he transfers old media onto new media, so he oh. can watch the families. That's what I do for a living. I know, like, I know. It's that's your people. <laughs> so I could, I like, I watch families as well, typically older. But I love that he knew, like, that's the way he knew how to get into their houses. With it was that he fucking could see, you know, like I transfer old stuff for I people too, and I'm like, and I'm like, oh, better. that's their, that's their grandpa, and that's their house, and that's their dog, and that's obviously i transfer actually way older stuff but he knew he's transferring like current stuff yeah he knew that's how he could get into this i love that aspect the one hour photo thing well in 86 there weren't that many uh video cameras no, they were. <laughs> well yeah it was people who were just getting into it but I, this all is right. a brilliant this is all a brilliant right. picture all right. thumbs thumbs let's still give it big um, biggest up. biggest I love, I, I, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm with chris this is a, a good novice a good start warm up yeah. It's warm up. I, I, I love, I love this tag. tag. Thank you so it's much. Terrible mind deliveries, but I, that's, it was worth watching.